Green eyes have always been captivating. However, their timeless mystique has inspired legends and many outright misconceptions about emerald-colored peepers. Here's the truth behind one of the most talked-about eye colors. If your eyes are green, you'll be happy to know that the intrigue surrounding the color has worked in your favor. In a comprehensive online survey conducted by AllAboutVision.com, people revealed what they thought to be the most attractive eye color. Congrats, all you green-eyed folks, your eyes are at the top of the list. Over 20% of those who participated in the survey voted for green eyes as the most appealing eye color, followed by 16.9% for light blue, 16% for hazel, and 15.2% for dark blue. People who sport this desirable eye color also share something in common with some of the coolest celebs. Adele, Emma Stone, and Scarlett Johansson are just a few famous faces with green peepers. In fact, Johansson's eyes are so green that a Vanity Fair profile of the actress called her eyes as pure green as a cat. To put it simply, you and your green eyes are in good company. While it may seem like there are a whole lot of celebrities who have green eyes, this eye color is actually estimated to be one of the rarest eye colors in the world. According to World Atlas, those with brown eyes make up anywhere from 55 to 79 percent of the world's population, whereas those with green eyes make up just 2 percent of the global population. You heard that right, just 2 percent. Coming in rarer than green is gray, and that means true gray, not blue that sometimes looks gray, followed by violet and then heterochromia, meaning two different colored eyes. Much like having green eyes, only 2 percent of the population population is estimated to have red hair, but there's actually a fairly decent chance that a person can wind up with both rare traits. We're looking at you, Jessica Chastain. We know we just told you that green eyes are incredibly rare, and they definitely are. However, if you were to take a trip to Europe, you'd probably start to doubt this fact. Edmund Custers, a biostatistician, revealed in an article for Owlcation that a whopping 68% of the population in Ireland and Scotland have either blue or green eyes. The situation is similar in Iceland, as 87% of men and 89% of women have one of the two colors. The expert explained, Among European Americans, green eyes are most common in people of recent Celtic or Germanic ancestry. In fact, if you were to visit Britain, you might start to believe that green eyes are more prevalent than brown. According to a study of over 12,000 people, brown eyes are rarer than green in Britain, despite the fact that brown eyes make up much of the world's population. Although we may label people's eyes as green, no one really has green eyes. If you're confused, allow us to explain. Irises aren't actually green, they only appear to be. According to eyesight opticians, green eyes don't contain the color green, instead, they're a curious blend of light brown pigmentation, a yellowish lipochrome pigment, and a splash of ray leaf scattering. Basically, green eyes only contain a small amount of the brown pigment called melanin. In the absence of a lot of melanin, Rayleigh scattering occurs. As Custers explained, Rayleigh scattering happens when longer wavelengths of light pass straight through the eye. Then they are absorbed at the back of the eye, and shorter blue wavelengths are reflected and randomly scattered by the opaque layer of the iris. Brown eyes, on the other hand, absorb light because they contain more melanin. Although Rayleigh scattering is also responsible for making blue eyes, blue-green eyes are especially unique because of this curious blend of blue wavelengths and yellowish pigmentation. In a 2014 study about the correlation between eye color and pain conducted by researchers at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine in Pennsylvania, healthy female participants were split into two groups, those with dark eyes like brown and hazel, and those with light eyes like blue and green. What researchers discovered is that the women with dark eyes experienced increased anxiety, sleep disturbance, and higher levels of pain during childbirth. Interestingly, the women with green and blue eyes experienced less anxiety and were better able to tolerate the pain associated with childbirth. According to researchers, despite limited sample size, this pilot study revealed patterns that suggest relationships between eye color and pain-related traits in this population. Unfortunately, researchers don't yet know why this unique correlation between pain tolerance and eye color exists. You may not know if your child will have green eyes until quite a while after giving birth. When a baby is first born, the little one has one of two eye colors, gray or blue. As HealthyChild.org explains, immediately after birth, cells called melanocytes begin to secrete melanin, the brown pigment, in the baby's irises. This process starts happening because melanocytes react to light, and as you can probably guess, there aren't exactly any sunny days in the womb. However, this doesn't work like some kind of human glow-in-the-dark technology. You can't just take your baby into the sunshine and expect to see their true eye color after stepping back inside. In fact, melanocytes can take up to a year to finish producing pigment. That said, you should begin to have an idea of your child's eye color at around the six-month mark because the process usually starts wrapping up when your baby is half a year old. If your little one has green peepers after a year, it's safe to say they always will. 
Women are more likely than men to have a set of green eyes, though the science as to why that's the case isn't exactly clear. According to a 2013 study published in the Journal of Statistics Education, researchers from Iowa State University found that only 12% of male participants surveyed reported having green eyes, while nearly 18% of the female participants had green. The Daily Beast reported that the 1985 National Longitudinal Survey of Youth reported that more women than men had green eyes, and an additional study published in Nature Genetics in 2008 revealed comparable results. In Iceland, over twice as many female participants than male participants were discovered to have green eyes, and this was also proven to be the case in the Netherlands. Dutch women really have the guys outnumbered, as they're three times as likely to have green eyes. Green eyes are more prevalent in Europe, but this eye color isn't reserved solely for light-haired, fair-skinned folks. According to biostatistician Edmund Kesters, people of any race can have green eyes. Kesters explained in Owlcation that countries like Spain, Brazil, Iran, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Central Asia have all had populations of people with green eyes, however small in number. The rare green eyes seem to have made their way across a large portion of the globe. You might think that people are the only ones that can possess this rare eye color, but researchers discovered an insect in 2013 with what they described as olive green eyes. Called the Minestrymon genevacroi, this species can be found in Texas, Costa Rica, and Venezuela, and of course, on the internet. But this pretty butterfly isn't the only non-human with green eyes. Man's best friend has also been known to sport this color. Veterinary ophthalmologist Laura Proietto explained to the dodo, Much like many other details of our body who make us who we are, DNA is the culprit. The color of the eye is determined by multiple genes that program how much pigment is present in the iris itself. Your kitty cat can also have a set of green peepers, especially if she has a fluffy white coat or is all black. Got any strays in trouble? No. Still want to take over the world? Yes. <laughs> Wait, no. I meant no. No! If you've ever been teased about your green eyes, you can thank good old Billy Shakespeare. After all, he was perhaps the first person to connect green eyes to envy, one of the seven deadly sins. As you might remember from English Lit, The Merchant of Venice reads, How all the other passions fleet to air as doubtful thoughts and rash embraced despair and shuddering fear and green-eyed jealousy. A few years later, the famous playwright again referenced the eye color in relation to envy, writing in Othello, Oh, beware my lord of jealousy, it is the green-eyed monster which doth mock the meat it feeds on. Did Shakespeare have it out for someone with green eyes, or did he just really hate the color? While we may never know for sure why Shakespeare chose green eyes to symbolize jealousy, Phrases.org gave it their best guess. According to the website, the color green was and still is often linked to sickness, possibly because of the light yellowish-green tinge a person's skin sometimes turns during illness. In a study published in the International Journal of Indian Psychology, 29% of participants were determined to consider green-eyed people as creative and a bit devious. Take that, Shakespeare. Ophthalmologist and researcher Hamadi Khalel says that people with green eyes do share some similar personality traits, and envy isn't one of them. According to Khalel, green-eyed people have an air of mystery and a quiet self-sufficiency. They are often unpredictable but slow to anger. They are original, creative, and perform well under great pressure. Who's jealous now? Having green eyes might make you seem cool and mysterious to others, but they unfortunately come with a few health risks. In fact, all people with light eyes might just be more prone to developing a particular kind of cancer. As Everyday Health explained, blue and green eyes contain less pigment than brown eyes, and since pigment is what protects the eye from cancer-causing ultraviolet light, people with light eyes have an increased risk of developing melanoma, specifically in the middle layer of the eye. Ruth Williams, ophthalmologist at the Wheaton Eye Clinic in Chicago, Illinois, and former president of the American Academy of of ophthalmology told Everyday Health, people with light iris color need to be diligent in wearing UV-protected sunglasses. Light color irises do tend to be more light-sensitive. Thankfully, a simple pair of sunglasses with UV protection, of course, can cut your skin cancer risk and help you avoid any of the eye irritation that comes with light sensitivity. It's long been a stereotype that those of Irish descent can drink more than their non-Irish buddies, but like many stereotypes, this hasn't exactly been proven by science. In fact, experts don't think your ability to hold your liquor has anything to do with genetics. Michael Fingerhood, associate professor of medicine at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine, told ABC News, If you're in an environment where a lot of people drink, it's more common to find drinkers. In this case, it's very culturally dictated. However, there might be more to the story. In 2001, researchers evaluated archival samples from two older studies 
Ladies, one of over 10,000 Caucasian male prisoners, and another of nearly 2,000 Caucasian women. The researchers found that people with light eyes, quote, consumed significantly more alcohol than individuals with dark eyes. These findings were similar to other past studies, which cited that dark-eyed people exhibit more physiological arousal and more sensitivity to some medications than light-eyed people. Based on their findings, the researchers speculated that people with brown eyes may be more sensitive to alcohol, and because of this, don't tend to drink as much. Whatever the reason, it appears that green-eyed people can indeed outdrink their brown-eyed cohorts. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about interesting facts are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!